Aloha, this is Sky, the Soulful Progressive, with FNN, Feminist News Network, the Feminist News that's right for you. Welcome to Sky on Location in the Hilton Hawaiian Village, giving you that progressive news you need. And if you haven't told anybody to like and subscribe today, to get it that soulful way, you better, because, honey, we're giving it with pride. I know, that's right. And not that corporate pride either. But I'm going to talk about and show a little bit of what I feel pride is really about. They got together in New York for a million strong. And you know what I think about it? Let's show it. Because at first I got mad and then I realized. Let's take a look and then we'll discuss. All right. Four million people took to the streets of New York City Sunday in the largest LBGTQ Pride His celebration in history. The demonstration, just one of many taking place around the country in New York City. There were actually two marches to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Uprising that sparked the modern-day LGBTQ movement. Revelers marched down Fifth Avenue, cheered on by millions for the World Pride Parade. And in Sheridan Square, at the very site where gay and trans people clashed with police on the early morning of June 28, 1969, tens of thousands of activists gathered for an anti-corporate queer liberation march. Among their chants, Stonewall was a riot. We will not be quiet. I'm Ann Northrup. I'm one of the organizers of the Queer Liberation March for Reclaim Pride. The point of this march is that we are a people's community political march. And that's what this march used to be when it was invented and for several decades. The Heritage of Pride main parade has evolved into a corporate party. And we just think that's ridiculous and insulting and demeaning and disempowering. So we got together to bring the community back into the streets. It's perpetrated on our community, certainly trans women of color being murdered on a regular basis now, but still violence against members of our community across the board. Policing. Uh, the police are still picking up people on the street for no reason, just because they don't like us, and putting us in jail. Uh, still entrapping gay men all over the place. And non-discrimination. We do not have a national law that uh, protects us from discrimination in housing or employment or public accommodations. And this is going on all over the world, especially as right-wing dictators take power in more and more places, whether it's Brazil or Hungary or the United States of America. I know that's right. Mm -hmm. So, this is what I realized. It took the gay community to come out four million strong to stand up for trans rights, for immigration, for health care. I even heard one about housing to intersect all these struggles and we should have been marching and intersecting a long damn time ago and we need to be marching and intersecting down at that damn Texas border near those damn jails that are keeping and molesting children in concentration camps and you know that's what's going on so we need to take the influence and the motivation and the movement and the strength behind the power of that pride event up in New York with four million and take that down to the border, take that to the ICE office, take that in regards to ending uh, all these issues with America's immigration and uh, ERA and abortion rights and uh, child care and helping the minimum wage and education. Now we march five or a million strong on each one of those, then maybe we can solve something. And each time we come out, we intersect and make it. Then Reverend Barber and the Poor People's Campaign can secede. That's just the idea, people. That's just me giving solutions from a soulful progressive that saw this as an opportunity to do more than occupy. 
but to recognize. All right. So, if you agree with me, leave comments below and let me know at FeministNewsIn at gmail.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and the Facebook page. And remember, I'm that social progressive on Twitter. And have that blog of Rana the Day. It's what it's called, Rana the Day, on Blogger. So, and if you want a feminism for anyone, T, just contact me and I'll send it to you straight from Hawaii. All right. And remember, I'm that one woman team. So if you want to donate, it's PayPal me at Feminist News Network. All right. So thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. And remember, in this era of hate, you got to more than just vacation and lay back and not participate. You got to be like NYC and get out there. The numbers large and strong to get it going on. All right. Peace.